When I go home now, every time I eat french fries uh, or chips, uh, I just pour mayo all over them because that you guys got me stuck on putting mayo on like everything and I buy HP sauce now in grocery stores because I like it so much and I'll do a mixture of the mayo and the HP sauce and I'll mix it all up so I love fish and chips you guys have a lot of kebab places over here which is awesome we don't have as many in the states that you guys have here um, Canada has a bunch of kebab places so whenever I'm up there I always like to enjoy some of that but yeah, I love traditional English food. It's great. I think it's awesome. There was a period of time in the band where it was, you know, the three of us before we got the two new guys, and it was just like, you know, each of us believed in each other and in the music that we were writing and wanted to, you know, believe that the music we were writing was important. and. You know, didn't feel didn't feel once like oh well we're, we should stop because you know these other guys are gonna leave the band. Um, you know, it's okay to stop touring in a band. We understand. You know, times get tough and you need to change your life up. That's cool. You know. Um, so when the two new guys stepped into the band, we just were like, you know, this is this is what our band is, and it's cool to take a step back and look at well, like how far your you know you know the, your four best friends that you're playing with have come in their musical careers and in their personal lives. You know, I've watched these guys, you know, grow up and, you know, Sean, my bass player, just got married and was at his wedding and it was awesome. And like, being such good friends and being in each other's lives and involved in things at home make touring and writing music together that much better. Um, and there's no egos in this band at all anymore and there's no, you know, you just can kind of say whatever you want to say, you know, and do whatever you want to do. and. You know, when it comes down to writing music, we just literally sit in a room together and, uh, you know, we go away and we have a house that we go to and we just sit down and write and if I have an idea on the drums, I'll jump on the drums. If, you know, Sean's got an idea on guitar, he'll jump off bass, jump on guitar. You know, it's kind of like, we just want to write the best records and songs that we possibly can. So, um, we're looking forward to this one because our last tour over here, uh, we missed our London show. We got pulled over, they said, you look too weighty. Brought us to a weigh station off the side of the highway, weighed us and said, you're 600 kilograms over, you need to dump 600 kilograms worth of stuff. And we're like, our driver is from uh, Poland, the van is from Poland, the gear is from Germany, we're from America, and we're in the UK. And I'm like, what do you want us to do? Where are we gonna, what, how are we gonna do? We luckily, we met a band the night before in Scotland at our Scotland show, and um, they, we we're, well, were up in Dundee, and we called them on the phone. I was like, hey man, I remember how you said if I ever need anything in Scotland? Well, I need you to come here. I need you to take our gear away as if we're gonna just give it to you and you'll figure it out so we can get weighed in. And then once we get weighed in, meet us down the road and put it back in our van and we'll leave Scotland as soon as we can. Yeah. So like six hour process of doing this, he comes down. We get it all out. He's like, all right, I'll see you guys. I'm gonna go take this gear back for you and then leaves. He drives to a McDonald's 10 minutes down the road and we, uh, they weigh us back in and we leave um, and we pick up all the gear again and put it back in. We're like, go, go, go. We just fucking sneak out of the UK because we're literally trying to get well, out of uh, Scotland, but we didn't make our London show and we ended up having to cancel it. And um, I know a bunch of kids were super bummed out and like that was the one show we were looking forward to and the ticket sales were pretty good on it too. Yeah. So we were just like, come on, really? Right after this tour, we go home and we do a tour with Texas in July and um, Simons and Sailors. We just do like a little East Coast run for the holidays. Um, and then that concludes our year, which is like involved. Our year is involved writing and recording and releasing a record. Um, doing warp tour right into this tour right into that tour and then in January we do a little New England run um, We haven't been able to play at home in a long time because we've just been on tour um, And then we have a little bit of time off. We're gonna do some writing uh, for sure Because um, we always love to write and always like to get ideas out even if it's just like recording riffs and putting them in the computer and then just you know Forgetting about them and then coming back to them being like oh shit remember this um, but then we're doing a full U.S. tour, um, and it's like two months long. It's from March till May. Uh, we're going to be hitting a lot of festivals, um, South by So What and South by Southwest and all that stuff in the States. And then um, that'll go right into, we get home from that, we're going to go to Alaska. 
for a couple days, which is cool because it's like number 49 state for us. So all we have left is Hawaii, and then we did them all. Um, so, uh, and then that goes right into the summertime, and we're looking at probably coming over and doing festivals over in Europe and UK for the summertime, which would be great. We did them not this past summer, but the summer before that, and they were absolutely great. Um, I remember playing uh, Ghost Fest in Leeds, and it was like one of the, it's one of my favorite shows I've ever played in my whole life. It was just absolutely insane. So, and then after that is like more writing, and then heading into the studio to record a new record at the end of the year, and then and then now we're on to like 2016. So it's just like you just keep on going and keep on going with it, you know. So I'm already I'm already looking like two years ahead now. So yeah. if it wasn't busy, I feel like we would be doing something wrong, you know.